With each birthday comes a new milestone, starting out with being born. If you survive, then congrats on not being a woman in China. This will also be the only time in your life you're offered free titties, so live it up all you can. One. You can now walk, so it's time to play the game, will this kill me? Finger in electrical socket, sticking Legos in mouth, mistaking your mom's sex toy for a rubber ducky. Babies are constantly trying to find ways to take a forever nap. Two. You're now potty trained, so sadly, it's gonna be another 80 years before someone's wiping your ass again. Five. You start kindergarten, and if you're in America, now be a good time to practice your school shooting drills. I'm gonna f***ing kill you kids! I just wanted to finger paint. 13. Jewish culture considers you an adult. Also, if you're a black kid in Texas, you'll be tried as an adult. 15 to 16. This is a fun age because your brain is starting to develop into the person you'll end up being. This is also kind of like the minimum age to have sex and not have it mess up your life. You still should probably wait till you're 17, but I'm not gonna blame you if your hot math teacher has been shooting your looks. 18. You can go to war, but you can't legally drink, which makes sense because downing mojitos doesn't help America from. Trying to get that off! So to recap, Jaeger bombs, no. Actual bombs, yes. 21. You can finally stop drinking, because it's no longer cool. However, lots of other doors are now open. You can go to a casino, carry a concealed weapon, adopt a child, and even smoke pot in some places. Just try not to do all of them at the same time. 25. This is when the frontal lobe of your brain is fully developed. You see, your prefrontal cortex is responsible for planning, judgment, and impulse control. So if you're still an idiot after 25, there's no hope for you. 30. If you're a single woman, you might be freaking out. Your looks are beginning to fade, eggs drying up, potential suitors, dwindling, and you may be forced to do what you've always dreaded, develop a personality. Guys, on the other hand, congratulations, dating is now way easier. You see, as a woman's self-esteem is plummeting, what they're willing to settle for is rising. Plus, by this point, you're usually doing better in your career, meaning you have more money. And to women, money is the ultimate aphrodisiac. 40. Your physical prime has officially ended. Unless, of course, you're Tom Brady. What's his secret? Is it diet, exercise, sucking fetuses for stem cells? Only he knows, but it's probably just hard work. And by hard work, I mean dumpster diving at Planned Parenthood. 50. Midlife crisis. Time to look back and regret the things you haven't accomplished. You once dreamed of riding down a water slide from your 12-bedroom mansion into a lazy river filled with topless porn stars, but you decided to settle down early, marry some girl who peaked in high school, and have two kids you're pretty sure aren't even yours. 65. Retirement. Finally, after years of hard work, you can relax and do what you've always wanted find ways to kill your wife. Things weren't so bad while working, but spending every day with her has made you realize either she goes or I go. And we all know you're too afraid to kill yourself. Can't get divorced either, especially after your grandson convinced you to invest into Bitcoin. So how do you do it? Push her overboard in a cruise ship? Replace her heart medication with Skittles? Wait till she's taking a bath and toss in a toaster? Kobe! Just remember, you don't have much time left, and you really want to spend your last days with... You left the toilet seat up again! <sighs> 70. This is the best time to look over your will and remember all the people that you hate. Your sister who always made fun of your weight. Your daughter who married a Jew. Your grandson who claims he's now your granddaughter. How do you get back at them all? It's not enough just to leave them out of the will. No. You're way more petty than that. You want them to know that you pissed away all your money on bullshit. That's why you hire a whole bunch of skywriters. It's about $7,000 a message, and if you had a million dollars, that's about 142 messages. Imagine every birthday your sister looks up and sees each Becky above her house. Let her know you'll always be there to talk smack, even in death. 75 to 80, the average death for men and women. Every year after this is basically a middle finger to all your enemies being like, yeah. I'm still here. So live it up. Relish in your enemies' deaths. Go to their funerals. Hit on their widows. Vomit in their coffins. Let them know you won, not them. 81 to 99. Probably dead? If you're not, you're gonna want to die. You're slowly starting to lose your memory, your bowels, and overall grasp on reality. 100. Congrats. Less than 1% of the population lives till they're 100. Living to 100 is like entering cheat codes, and that laws no longer apply to you. Steal something? Come on, Grandpa, give it back. Take your dick out in public? Sir, please put your pants on. Kill your neighbor? Grandpa, for the last time, stop murdering children. So those are all the birthday milestones. Which ones are you looking forward to? Please, let me know down in the comments. Personally, I'm looking forward to writing out my will and sending my brother Brian a heartwarming message. Mm, you know what you want to do. Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.